In this video, we got the king of the money plays in NCAA 25. This is by far my favorite money play. This is one of the plays that put me on the map. When it comes to being a YouTuber, which is going to be the play triple out. Now, I know I briefly talked about the triple out when this game first came out, but I don't think we ever made a proper video for it. Now, this formation out of Alabama is very powerful. You have the PA verticals. You have the play whips that I made a whole uh, video about its own, in its own. And then you also have the verts wide delay, which is probably the most used money play when it comes to using a gun bunch tight end. But what separates the triple out from the other money plays is this attacks the sideline to where most money plays are opposed to the middle of the field. Um, and that is the huge difference with this money play compared to others. So let's jump to the practice field, show you how we set this up and get money with it. All right, a couple of things about this play. If you're on the right hash, you want your bunch to the left side. If you're on the left hash, you want your bunch to the right side. What you're going to go ahead and do is motion out the outside wide receiver and you're going to put him on a comeback route. Go ahead and put the middle wide receiver Y on a streak. And then with your tight end, your running back, you can do whatever route combo you want. But my go-to is definitely put an A on a drag and RB on a Texas route. So it's going to look something like this. This is going to be against a cover three match, but this is how you're going to beat every single defense for a pretty good gain. If you have a speed mismatch, you can get that one play touchdown. You're just going to lead this to the sideline to your deep corner route. And again, it just depends on the speed mismatch. You can get a possible one play touchdown. All right, now we're going to go ahead and show you what this looks like against a cover four. Same thing, motion out X, put them on a comeback route, streak Y. And then again, you can do whatever you want with A and the, the running back. Another good route combo is A on a streak and the running back on a streak. That'll also get the running back open a lot. It just depends on the user and who they're going to go pick up. Usually they'll go follow the bunch side. Uh, and as you can see, your running back will get open in the middle of the field. Just wanted to show you that. That'll work against all zone coverages. Um, but let's show you the bomb against cover four. So same thing, motion out X, comeback route. Or yeah, put them on a comeback route while on a streak. And then the other go-to combo is a drag and the Texas route. Go ahead and get a double team out there and get some better blocks. And we're going to be looking for B again, and you're going to see how everything opens up. And again, if you have a speed mismatch, possible one play touchdown, just depends on how you lead the ball and all that good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and go over man coverage. So same thing. We can still bomb to B right here. Like this is one of the good routes against man coverage. Once he makes that break, um, you can kind of lead this to the sideline. But I want to show you because normally if they're running man coverage, they're going to send some heat at you. Um, so I want to show you all these check downs are going to work for you. You go through your reads. Don't force the corner out. If it's if you don't have time, you see they're sending a four man blitz and one guy's going to shed. Do not wait for the corner out to open up. This is why we put the route combos out there that we are putting out there. Go through your reads. First, check the jack, the, the drag route, which is normally going to beat man coverage. The only way it doesn't is if the user goes and helps. And if the user helps, the text route is going to be open. If both of those happen to be taken up, the comeback route will be open. And then after that, if you know you're going to have time, then look for the corner route. But let me just show you. Always go to your drag routes. If they're open, just take them. Don't overthink it. You just seen we got some really good yards right there. Um, don't no reason to overthink it. Again, um, your Texas route. So let's say the user is following the drag route. The drag he sees the drag route gets beat, so he goes and picks up the drag. That means the Texas route is going to be open in the middle of the field. All right. Let's say the drag route's taken up. Let's say the Texas route's taken up. Don't overthink it again. That means that the comeback route is going to be open. So let's set the same thing up. And this route is always going to be man coverage. You don't even need the best wide receiver. As long as you can get the timing down, this is winning against man coverage every single time. Throw it before he turns around and you're going to have money every single time. Just go for a possession catch. Don't overthink it. And then if you have the blocking, if you watched on every single one of those plays, B actually does get open against man coverage. Now we have a pretty good guy that's guarding B right here, Miller. Um, and normally you'll probably have somebody faster. I should have Law running this. That's actually like 97 speed. But even with uh, Miller, when look, see right there, I should have threw my drag route or my Texas route. They got to me pretty quick, but I'm waiting for that corner route to open up. That's something you don't want to do. I'm just trying to show you that this corner route will beat man coverage. And if you have Milrose, which if you're using this, you're probably going to be using it online. Um, in head to head, you're going to have Milrose because this is the only team that has this. But you can see you can get out the pocket, throw a nice little blue right there. I just don't know why that was overthrown. But that corner route will beat man coverage. Um, and if they are in a cover two and you want another way to beat man coverage, you can do this simple route combo, put a corner route. This time I can use law. So we're going to put law on a streak. And I'm going to go ahead and put B on an in route and my tight end on a corner route. So something like this, this will also be cover two man down the middle of the field. You can just get a good lead to the middle as long as you got a speed mismatch. That's beating cover two man all day. I just got to get my throws down. Haven't played NCAA in like three days. So you got to give me a little break on that. Um, but that this play is just OP. And then again, mix this in with the whips play. You got the other money play. Let's see if it's in the audibles. This, 
they got the PA verticals, um, and then you also have some pretty good run plays. Uh, but from here, let's jump into some gameplay and show you this being used against real users and how we get these one-play touchdowns using this triple out. All right, we got a game against Missouri. We do got to get to a hash mark, though, because we are in the middle of the field. So let's go ahead and just call a simple run play real quick. Um, we get a, get a little double team action right here. This outside run is a little bit better than the inside zone. It just depends, honestly, but you can get better results. But we just want to get to a hash because we're trying to run this money play. Um, it, it, there's just so much firepower with this formation right here. You got the whips, you got the verticals, and then you got this triple out. You can run a whole scheme of different money plays. Um, let's go ahead and set this up. Might be... You definitely will have time. Now, in Dynasty, Heisman, when you're in a... I already know all y'all say you can't do that, but this is more so for people that like to run head-to-head. -head. Um, you will have time to get all your adjustments down. Look, I got my drag route. I'm taking it. No reason not to. Let's line that down and flip it. Um, when you're in head-to-head, -head, you're definitely going to be able to get this off. Now, this might... If you're in Dynasty, you might have to be the home team to do this. Um, I know how that is. I, I ran a few he uh, Heisman dynasties, and it is not easy to do. Get a double team here. If we could set the edge here, we might have this. Um, I need some good blocks. We got it. All right, cool. I think we got it. Let's cover two, so we're going to lead it down. Yeah, let's see if we can do something here. Yep, let's go. Good gain. Stay in. Oh, I was trying to stay in right there. But now we can run the whips. So. We can stay in the same formation. Let's run the whips play. If you haven't seen my breakdown for this whip play, I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, there's so many different ways you can run it, but the simple way is just putting Y on a post and stimming it down one. That's really it. And you're just going to look for one of these whip routes or the post in the middle. Uh, we got B. We definitely got B. That should be touchdowns. Oh, get in there. That's all right. That'll work. And then from here, we can, stay, we can definitely stay in this and run the RPO. Make it easy on ourselves. Let's get in that end zone. Um, basically going to read to see if the linebacker shoots the right gap and if he does and if it's zone we can throw this pretty easy you got to pick up that block i was about to say i'll take that though all right so we're going to run a little bit of defense i want to show y'all a simple defense y'all can run you don't have to overthink it at all um let me just get the right players in here might have to call a timeout uh, who can we put right here okay, let's call a timeout this is a very very simple defense i know people have been asking me for a defense on ncaa the the nickel three three man you run the cover three match and you just play the vert hook on the the weak side of the field so uh the the, the side that has less wide receiver so for example this side is going to be this play is going to be the left side and you just kind of pick up whoever you need to in the middle of the field very simple d i didn't get to set up the d line what you need to do is spread the d line and the linebackers and a lot of times that outside guy will get off the edge super quick that's the one thing i do hate though is how the linebackers flip um this could be a run right here yeah i was I should have I should have set up for the run right there. I don't know what I was thinking. We're overthinking things right now. All right. Um, but yeah, let's get back out there. So I'm gonna show blitz, spread the D line, spread the linebackers. That's that's really it. That's all you gotta do. And you just gotta kind of play, you know, who you can. Just pick up who you can. That should be a pick. Let's go. Very, very simple defense. It gets the job done. All right, let's see what we've got going on right here. We got third and ten. This motion, this looks like cover three, but he could be disguised in this defense. Again, if we can get a good double team right here, we should be able to get out the pocket and get money. Um, but don't forget about the check downs. I'm going to keep repeating that. I'm, that's all I talk about in every video. What do we got right here? It looks like we actually got them. Get a good throw. This is a good, This has to be cover three right here. I always do that every time I catch the ball. Oh, if they're trailing me, like as I'm, or if they're going to meet me at the sideline, I always do that little ring around the rosy right there, and I usually get them. But that was a good uh, user play by him uh back in this area we're gonna go back to our whips very simple little scheme we got going on see we got y'all the money play but we also got a little mini scheme for y'all but this whips is just so deadly right here uh i'm gonna go look for the running back first and if not most likely the tight end we got the running back we got i don't know his defense probably messed up right there but that's money right there 